What's up, everyone? I'm Mick Schultz. Welcome to my studio. I'm here with Unfiltered Audio and Plugin Alliance, and I'm going to show you their new plugin, Tails. So, this is Unfiltered Audio's new plugin, Tails. It's essentially a reverb, but way more creative than any reverb you've probably seen before. It's it's very creative and inspiring, yet it's got a very simple interface. And I'm gonna just give you a quick little run through before I give you a demo on how it sounds and some examples here. So this is the plugin. It has an algorithm section, basically how this reverb reacts to transients. And it also has a very unique and interesting ducking section. So you can do kind of a whole side chain just within the plugin and then when you move over to this section reverb here they have saturation they have a sample rate which it does this really cool bit crushing thing it almost sounds like it pitches it at the same time it has a eq section so you can do you know a low pass high pass filter and then there's four reverb modes that all drastically sound different and give you a whole different tone and different vibe. And depending on which one that you select, you can see here decay, bandwidth. If I go to shimmer, there's a pitch. So they have different features here that you can play around with that are really cool. And then one of my favorite sections of this plugin, this reverb swap, and you're going to hear it in a minute, it basically allows the reverb to reset on the transient so it doesn't really carry over and get really muddy so this is an awesome tool and then you know you have the, the mix gain knobs and it's pretty straightforward but it's it's really a beast so i have a song here it's by this really dope artist ashley leon that i'm working on and i'm going to play you the record and then show you kind of what i'm doing how i'm using it and you know, just dive in. So let's start with the drums here. So these are the drums. I'm gonna play a little clip. I'll just loop it and play them without tails on it. Cool, and now with tails. So it does this like really cool gating sound effect just with the way that it's re reading the transients and everything it sounds super cool adds some depth to the drums and i'm just going to filter through some of these play a couple presets that i made so you can hear a few different examples of how this can work on some drums And another awesome feature about this plugin is, and, and all their plugins are like this, I believe, is they have this random randomization preset, a little dice here. And this is a great way, especially with a plugin this creative, to come up with new ideas and just kind of mess around. So I'm going to kind of filter through that for a second. All right, so we're gonna jump over to Ashley's vocal and I'm gonna let you hear what I have going on. So let's start with the, the vocal dry. 
Just feeling too much Don't feel too safe While here Look and Then when I put tails on it Gives it a I have like a little Kind of vocal Slap delay sound coming from tails Just feeling too much Don't feel too safe While here Looking to escape to just get away. I'm gonna play you a couple other presets that I have and give you some more examples. Just feeling too much, don't feel too safe. While I'm here, looking to escape. To just get away. All right, so next I'm gonna show you a little thing I did with the sample rate on the vocal, which I feel like is really unique in this plugin. Play that for you one more time. So basically what's happening here is I'm just simply automating the sample rate down and you can hear it sounds like it almost pitches it down. So this is a this is an awesome feature to me. I love I love this plugin also because it tells you exactly what each each knob does, and it says in here that it it changes the perceived uh, reverb timbre. So I guess that's what you're hearing. So I think that's that's a really cool effect. All right, so now we're gonna jump over to some pads and synths that I have going on, and I'll let you hear what this sounds like. So here's one of the pads that I have in the record without tails. And then with tails, So you can hear the the sample rate in there with the little bit crushing sound. It really makes that pop and come to life. And I'll play it for you kind of in the mix so you can hear that with and without. And when I turn it off, it's a big difference. Now I'm going to flip through a couple of these reverb modes for you on this pad just to give a few examples of what these do and how these react. And the shimmer is really cool here with the pitch knob, which I'll show you this. So you can get a ton of different sounds, really creative. I've never really seen a reverb like this. It's extremely inspiring. And as soon as I opened it up, it, it made its way onto seven or eight tracks in this song easily. It just really helped shape the whole record. So I'm loving it. And it, I feel like it's like completely endless of what you can do. And the randomization knob just 
keeps it fun and interesting because sometimes, you know, you don't want to necessarily flip through presets, but you don't want to spend too much time just turning knobs. So that that dice is, is a clutch, clutch thing. That's pretty much the rundown. This thing is an absolute beast and it's, you know, it's simple. So it's very easy to use and it's very creative. So that's, you know, right up my alley. Oh,